Now as it relates to training to build muscle, get stronger, improve performance, there's two things that I talk about a lot. I'm going to explain something here to help a lot of people understand some things a little bit better. Number one, training is a subjective experience. It's something only you can experience. So you need to pay attention to the way your body is reacting to the work you're doing as that should determine everything else that you do when you're training in the first place. Number two is that you got to ask the right questions to get the right answers. A lot of people don't ask the right questions. They don't get the right answers. They focus on the externals. They believe there is magic in the externals. They believe there is magic in a certain exercise. So I'm going to give an example to help illustrate the point. A lot of people will talk about what is better for the chest, a barbell bench press or a dumbbell bench press. And then what I'll say is, are you even asking the right question? Because Who's to say that you should even be doing a variation of that lift in the first place? It comes down to your capacity to recruit the muscles that you want to recruit when doing that exercise in the first place. So if you're doing it to develop the chest, but your capacity to recruit your chest when doing a flat bench press is limited or minimal, you're not going to get much of a return by investing into a variation of that exercise in the first place. So when it comes to exercise selection and what's the best, it comes down to your capacity to recruit your muscles when doing an exercise. So this will be the first part of a several part series. I'm not sure how many videos I'm going to do on the matter, but where I'll introduce you to strategies that you can include into your strategy to increase your capacity to recruit your muscles so you get a greater return on your investment of time and effort when you choose to include certain things into your strategy. So I'll give you an example real quick again in that you ever see guys that can bench press a lot of weight but they don't really have much development of the chest and you look at how much weight they're lifting and you say wow why is their chest not developed obviously the muscles responsible for producing force to perform the direction of effort must be developed to some degree their capacity to produce force is very high look how much weight they're lifting but there's not much muscular development in the area that should be working when they do that exercise why is that because their capacity to recruit those muscles is limited or minimal so this will be the first part of a several part series in which I'll introduce you to some strategies you can include into your strategy to increase your capacity to recruit your muscles and get a greater return on investment when you invest into certain exercises that you want to include into your strategy in the first place. If you like the information, share it, click the fucking button at the bottom, subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep bringing you the best information you're going to find as it relates to training to build muscle, get stronger, improve performance, all that fucking shit.